Hello and welcome to the channel. I uh, hope you're doing all right. Uh, this morning I am, um, it was my last day here this morning, I'm going off back to Rwanda, but I'm doing some training with um, Sam. I've got my, got my coffee and I've got a guava here. So that will be my breakfast, I think, for the day. Um, I'm going to just, just cleaning up behind me. Got chickens in the in the room. Um, so I think we've made some quite good progress. I think I've, you've seen already the BSF that Sam has put in, been incubating inside. Uh, but I would just want to check with him on the progress and specifically on just some of the challenges that we're having with BSF. Most of it is around the, so the hatch rate's great now. So from the eggs that we're getting, we're getting very, very good. Uh, the, the little larvae, the five day old. And then what's happening is when we get to the stage where we're growing them out, from five day old to adult larvae, um, that rate is dropping um, fairly significantly in the sense that we would expect. So we're getting about two grams of eggs a day. Um, that's so one gram will give you about five kilos of, sub, of maggots at full grown, and we're so two grams should give us about 10 kilos, but we're not getting close to that at the moment in terms of our yield. So I'm just going to talk to him and see if there's anything we can do to, to work together basically um, and sort of correct that. Uh, um, and then obviously, also talk through some of the renovations that we're going to be doing um, because we've got this Gatsby Africa funding. Uh, to sort of improve the project and of course we've got a bit of cash uh, to do some upgrades and just correct a few things. So we've got already some materials, we've got some, so these bricks here, these are locally made bricks, uh, so they just get made out of clay uh, and then baked. I think you might have seen that before on the channel, it's, for those of you in Africa you will have seen how they made them, it's quite a, quite a, quite a messy process, um, handmade. Uh, they get dried in the sun and then sort of used for construction. So we can use some of that and I'll talk through uh, what it is that we're, we're trying to do. So let me just go and talk to Sam and see, see where we're at. So we've just been, me and Sam have just been chatting about um, to be a set. Thought you'd like to see, these are the eggs he's collected over the weekend. Let me just um, zoom in a bit so you can see them a bit better. Um, they are quite dark, so that, and that's because these are a bit dry, so they are actually not freshly laid. These are sort of over three days. And you can see actually what happens is the, the, temp, the color changes. So they're a bit darker, and this is what they look like. I'll try and get a real zoomed in picture there for you. And we suspect, uh, the reading there is 0 0.8 grams. Um, so that's probably what there is in terms of uh, the amount and then he's collected this from a range of different sources I think Sam. So here we've got the from the cardboard. Do you have eggs inside or you collected them already from here? These ones are from the yeah from the container. Can you share do you have any with eggs and we'll just yeah. have a look. This one if you have eggs that's uh -huh. that's how you have so let me just bring that into focus for you. There you go, you can see the eggs there. Very nice. So we have, we, how, how many grams do you suspect you have, Sam, of eggs in, on, the, on, this, on this cardboard? On this cardboard, uh, this cardboard we have around 0 0.8. 0 0.8 grams, yeah. good. So this, these cardboards are in the polytunnel, just outside, and then the wood is here, and Sam's just finished this. So basically these are eggs were inside of this wood. Um, yeah, that's right inside there, and then what he would, and that's actually in the love cage at the end, which we try. So we're trying to do a couple of different hatching or laying methods, <clears throat> and then he's collected them here. He's retaped it up, uh, and then the egg, the flies will lay inside there. And I'll just go and show you that polytunnel. They'll be fairly dormant at this stage. Uh, well, not dormant, they're just sedate. Like you can see, they're not flying around much, and that's because it's earlier in the morning. It's not quite as hot, um, but there's a tractant there. That's some uh, pre-pupa. That's, that's sort of the, for them to hatch out of. And then that's the cow dung, which is very smelly. 
uh, but it's what they like. And then they'll lay and put the cut the wood on top of that that um, that container, and then they'll lay in there uh, on the on the wood. And then this is the. We'll have a look at the bays, and I'll show you some of the maggots. So this is one of the bays with the maggots in it. And these have been here for 10 days now. Yes. You can see there. So they're getting much bigger. We're looking for about between 14 to maybe about 18. Um, can you see the, there's some steam coming off? So they're much warmer in here. And it's sort of a musky smell. That's what we, we get. And then this hasn't been turned yet. You can see here this liquid that you get. Um, and that, which is, which is okay, but we just need to, we'll add in some sawdust and some maize bran, uh, and then it just helps to absorb the, the moisture, but you can see they all burrow right down. That's really hot, yeah. You can see the vapor coming up. Yeah, great, that's very good. And they are just crawling around, just digesting all that. Lovely. There's a bit of cow dung in here, some, some vegetable market waste that we've chopped up. And uh, that's what we've got. Well done, Sam. This is uh, Sam's record book, so I'll just give you an idea of what he's doing. So he's got, uh, so look at this, these are the, the dates. Just of intubation. Yeah, the day of this each. when they were put on maize bran. Put on the maize bran, okay. This is the amount of eggs we put. Mm -hmm. Then this is uh, the bay in which they will, they will be put. Yeah. And this is the day when they are put in the yeah. bays. So like you see this one, uh, on 1st of March. Yes. This one. And, and this one actually were put in bay for. Mm. But I hope these ones I finish collecting them because uh, uh, they, they were a few. Mm. The hatching was not good. So mm -hmm. the, I we collected the round city. They, they, they around two, actually two kilograms of mango. Two kilograms when, from that, yeah. So that one, I refreshed it and now um, we've put new ones. I think we can see, go and see. Yeah. The ones that we put now, these are the ones now, I'll put them on satins. Okay, You yeah. see, bear, bear four, bear four again. Uh -huh. So this one, okay. I finished them, and this is a new cycle in the same bear. Makes sense, new yeah. Satins. And then these ones here, so that the ones we've just seen in Bay 3. Bay, the, bay 2, we were saying Bay 2, bay, they were on bay eight. Two, yeah. Bay 3, we are yet to go and see. Oh, okay, in yeah. So this one, we just saw these ones in Bay 3, and that's they've had 10 days, like I said, yeah. and these have had 14. So yes. that's roughly when we're looking to harvest. So we're going to have a look at Bay 3 and see how they're doing. So we're just looking, this is the Bay 3, so we just looked at that bay. These were 10 days old. These are 14. And you can see quite a big difference. There's still a lot of maggots in there. It was a bit less because we've collected some, so I was saying. Yeah. But just look at how they're not moving. Um, and that's because they're getting ready to pupate. So they're basically gonna turn black and then they will crawl up this slope, just getting out of the bay. So they'll crawl up here like this, which is the slope, and then they'll fall into this trough uh, and then you'll collect them from there. So you can see there's a bit of an angle. I'll show you like that. There you go. Um, they crawl up that slope. It's about a 30 degree slope. And then you collect the pre pupa They turn into those black um, black casings. I don't think we have any here. Just check. Can't see any. Yeah. So they haven't started coming, but they are getting ready. So that is a sign for us that we those. Those maggots, if we were going to use them to feed our fish, um, that's what we want to be doing. Uh, well, you see the chicken and the four, the ones that are yeah. on Oh yes, that's right. So, so they are doing great. Yeah. Because, uh, so these came on the on the 14th. So these have had four days. Yeah. They are put on satin. Five days, because it's the 18th today. This has been here for five days, so we'll just have a look. Oh, look at that, yeah. See, a lot more movement. A lot more movement, which is good. Um, and there's still a lot of the older ones as well. You can see the difference in size. So from, from the last um, lot of maggots that were in here, I can still see some of those in there. Because it's very hard sometimes to collect all of them, especially the way that we're doing it. Um, and that's fine. Some of those will turn into pupa, which we want. Um, and then some of them will turn 
we'll just stay there and we can harvest them next time. But you can see the movement, the size, they're much smaller. Um, and that's purely down to, down to the fact that um, they're younger. So these are five days old, but they're looking very good. See all that movement there and the sound. There's, there's some construction next door, but hopefully you can see some of that. Look at that. Yeah, this is all very good fish feed. Um, and we'll just check this bay, see if we've got any. This one put on um, 16, 16, 16. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so this is the next one. So we've got a, a quite a good production here. And um, it's always nice. And so, you know, if you're, a, if you're looking at maggots and you're a, a farmer of maggots, um, you, should be know, you should know your dates. Uh, you need to sort of keep an eye on, on when things are happening so that you can, you know, future-proof yourself in terms of what you need. So, much smaller a quantity. How many grams of eggs was in here? So it's about three grams in this but, bay. Uh, because the, the subject is feed because they are also put on Saturday. Yes. So we, today we must add yeah. a lot of So this is the second day. Seed. Can you see the difference in size? Absolutely tiny. Yeah. See here. Because they are yeah. combining together, they come together to eat. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. So this is uh, two days, and as you can tell, we've not put much substrate in. Um, uh, but that's that's fine. That just helps them because they keep it keeps them huddled together. And then today, Sam and Andrew, who also work here, you haven't met Andrew yet. You might have seen them on screen. He's been around and done casual work for us, but he's now working a bit more full time. Um, they will add a lot more substrate here and then we will have the, the volumes we need. So, so we've got four bays and then this bay I think is Fras, is that right? So that one is Fras and then the one right at the end is also Fras. So we have four bays at the moment of production. We've got our sawdust here. Um, we don't, you try not to use too much sawdust because of course they're not digesting the sawdust. But what it does is it just absorbs that liquid um, that I was talking about in the bay there. Uh, and that's the that's our production. So, some big improvements since I was here last. Um, and I'll just uh, I'll, um, I'll, I'll what I'll do in the next video is I'll just talk about some of the things that we're about to do. So yeah, so I'm gonna gonna tell you about some of the things that we're going to be doing in the next few few weeks, few months, just to improve on our production. Um, but I think you can see that we've made some quite big strides uh, in production. We've got a consistent supply. I like the fact that there's the, the dates are coming in now, um, the quantities of, of eggs, um, so we can predict. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. Do like and subscribe, comment. I'm always happy to t um, talk um, to you, um, get to get our staff to talk to you on, on YouTube and support you that way. So do, do share as well. Uh, and we'll see you on the next video.